What is up, family? Anthony here yet again with another powerful message from the scriptures. Today, I want to answer the question from the text, who will get into the kingdom of heaven? How do we get there? What happens when we die? This is very important, and the Bible has these answers to this question. I think that we all should understand this question. We all should know the answers to it. That way, we'll know how to get to the kingdom of heaven. Hebrews chapter 9, verse 27, the Bible reads it like this. Inasmuch as it is appointed for men to die once, and after this comes judgment. So the text is telling us that we're all going to die. We know this. Life is not going to be forever here in this earth. But the Bible says that once we die, there's only one death, right? There's not two, three, four deaths. One death, you only get one opportunity, you only get one shot at it. Once we die, the Bible says, after death comes judgment. So we know that when we die, our spirit leaves our body. Now we are going to be set up for judgment. We are not back reincarnated. We stand before the judge, and that is Almighty Christ. But what if I'm a good enough person? Won't that get me into the kingdom of heaven? I mean, I don't steal. I don't cheat. I don't backbite. I don't talk behind people's back. I'm there for my friends. I give to the needy. I don't treat people bad. Matter of fact, I treat people the way I want to be treated. I do everything good. I, I stay to myself. I don't hurt anybody. I try my very best. Isn't that good enough? Well, let's ask the question, what is good enough? Because if it takes for us to be good enough, then we got to just be better than good. So that makes it interesting in itself. You got to find that line between good and good enough. Well, let's see what the Bible says. In Romans chapter 3 at verse 10, it says, as it is written, there is none righteous, not even one. So here in the text, Paul is teaching us that nobody's righteous, not one. Anyone who's been born in this world cannot be righteous enough to enter into the kingdom of heaven. Romans chapter 3, verse 23, Paul says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. We're all sinners, and we've fallen short of God's glory. So there is none of us who do good. Even the Bible says that our righteousness are as filthy rags before God. So no matter how good we are, we will never be good enough. So then who is good enough? Thanks for asking. We know in our text that the Bible tells us that Jesus the Christ is good enough. Hebrews 4.15 says it like this, For we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who has been tempted in all things as we are, yet without sin. So it takes someone to be sinless to enter into the kingdom of heaven. The Bible says that Jesus Christ came to this earth, walked amongst people like us, and he felt our pain. He felt the weaknesses that we go through, the sin he's seen in this world, yet he was sinless. So he sympathizes with our weaknesses and our sin. And the awesome thing about him was he was sinless. He was without sin. So he is good enough. 2 Corinthians 5.21 says, He made him who knew no sin to be sin on our behalf so that we might become the righteousness of God in him. The text is saying that God sent Jesus so that he can die on our behalf, die for our sins. Because our, our sins, we're not going to make it into the kingdom of heaven because we're not good enough. We're not righteous enough. So we need a perfect person, which was Jesus Christ, to come and take the sin for us and to die on the cross and let that sin be buried with him so that we, the Bible says, can be righteous in him. In Jesus. So this means that when we have Christ in our lives, then we are righteous through Jesus Christ. So now here's the question. How can I be sure that I can get to the kingdom of heaven? I want to know that what I'm doing 
is enough. I want to know that where I am in my life right now, that I don't have to worry about death. I don't have to worry what happens when I die. I want to be for sure that I'm going to make the kingdom of heaven my home. Romans 10, 9, that if you confess with your mouth Jesus as Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Confession is very important. You have to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. You have to confess that it is him. The only reason why we can get into the kingdom of heaven, nobody else, but Jesus, there's only one way into the kingdom of heaven. The Bible says that no man cometh to the father except through the son, Jesus Christ. So we have to confess this and we have to believe in our hearts that God, the father raised him to life again. And the Bible says you will be saved. So who will go into the kingdom of heaven? It is those that believe that Jesus Christ is the son of God and that we need to confess him before him, before God and before this world. We cannot be ashamed of Jesus Christ. We have to understand that he is the reason why we have the kingdom of heaven. He's the perfect one who was slain before the foundations of the world so that we can have the kingdom of heaven, not through what you do, not through how you've acted, but through who you serve. Today, I want to invite you to accept Jesus Christ into your lives so that you can be sure that you're going to have the kingdom of heaven. Say this prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, I ask that you would come into my heart. I ask that you would forgive me of my sins. I believe that you are the Lord and Savior of my life, and I receive you into my life today. Amen. If you prayed that prayer, then you have been born again. Now, there's more to it than just that. We have to open up the Bible and begin to build our relationship with God. As you build your relationship with God, you're going to find that the sins that you are doing, those addictions and those things, you're going to get convicted in your heart by the Holy Spirit to stop doing those things. Now, it's very hard to stop doing these things on your own, but if you are faithful to God's word and you read and you pray every single day, God's going to give you the strength through his Holy Spirit to help you overcome those addictions. But you have to stay faithful and you have to continue in his word every single day and you will begin to change. And one less thing you have to worry about is what happens when you die. When you receive Jesus, you have the kingdom of heaven. Thank you for watching and always remember, keep the faith, fight the good fight, and never lose hope. God bless.